taste a little fatty just because there's a lot of avocado. But the, the lettuce is there and the spices are there to kind of cut through that a little bit. I do like that they're doing this in general because the new year, everybody is reading up on these fad diets and it's kind of the new thing now. It's abiding by the, the diet by not having any grains, not having any lentils or quinoa, anything like that. It is heavy, so I wouldn't get it on like a weekly basis. Made a mess. Very good. The stuff that like I'm missing a little bit, usually I like to get sour cream on it too because that falls in the keto realm and it kind of adds that nice coolness level that you get. Let me tell you a secret. You can order this bowl as a burrito bowl and <laughs> just tell it exactly what you want and what you don't want and you can get sour cream. So that's a little pro tip right there. I'm gonna dig in. That's actually really tasty. Like this actually tastes like chipotle. The paleo diet definitely consists of lean cuts of meat. So I like that there's a lot of meat in this, a lot of beef. You know what's kind of funny? Every time you go to Chipotle and you ask for guac, they're like, it's gonna cost more. But for this, they load it on there. I think it's pretty good. Sometimes when I go to Chipotle and I ask for, you know, the standard bowl, it really doesn't come with enough protein and you have to ask for extras. But I feel like this has the perfect balance of steak with chicken. It's everything that I need for a double protein diet. I would probably eat this. 